so today what we're going to do is we're just going to show you um demos of these professional products that we've ordered online we have these papery cut flowers that have been dried and we have these colorful pearls we have flocking powder in white I like to call it fuzz and we have these little rose things and by the way this is not drugs no just so you know it's fuzz and do not carry it in a plastic bag you might get arrested okay so we started out already painting our um nails with this nyc quick dry it's called east village okay so on your semi-wet nail you just want to press the flower down we chose a blue flower for this because it matches really well with the nail and it looks really pretty as you can see this nail that we did right here that's from a previous um video that's from our water marbling video so check that out after this one it's really good okay so our next product that we're going to test are these pearls we're going to use these pearls so we're just going to dump a couple out on the paper and we're going to grab a dotting tool or you could use a pencil a pencil or a dotting tool if you don't if you don't have a dotting tool this sounds just gross but you can use spit to do this or just anything wet we're so, not going to use spit in this video because you know we're probably just going to use um some water so i'm just going to hand the camera over for a minute i'll just use this okay guys so so far here's how the flowers looking just so you guys can get a better view la na 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 from our handy dandy water cup. <laughs> I just put some water on this surface since I didn't have a cup with me and just dip that in there and it picks up the gem. So you don't need to pearl. spend money on the fancy waxes that claim to do this. You can just use water or spit. <laughs> Although most of you are equipped with water, hopefully. Or you shouldn't be investing money on nail polish. Um, yeah, so here is what this looks like. So you can use different colors to make it pop, but I just used this because that was what I had. And you can put out. it in any design you want, um, and kind of coordinate it into, um, really any design. Just being creative. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to use this fuzz, and we're going to do a fuzzy nail. So for this one, you do need a clear coat. Or you could just do it over a regular color, but the color's not gonna show up through it. Yeah, so we're going to use a clear coat. Oh, we are? Yeah. So, well, we I mean, weren't on the same page. <laughs> you can use the plain color, but we're just gonna use a clear coat. Open this up. So that's what it looks like inside. Fluffy and it's kind of shiny and sparkly also. It's got a, a shimmer to it. So so you paint on the clear coat. You don't even have to get this at a nail supply store. You can just get this at your regular craft store. And you can either take a brush and brush it off, which has worked better for us. but Or you can just like use a, a tip of your finger and lightly dust it. Um, If it seems to be coming off and you might need something more gentle um we have in my brush set this fan brush and it's really good for cleaning that off and you, you can just use it just like pretty much use it as a broom and sweep the excess off and then if there's any like in the crease of your finger just kind of like knock it off so this is really pretty for like a snowy looking nail or you could even use it for Easter and do like a bunny on it <laughs> I've done that before so what you guys need to know about this is you do not top coat over this so it'll probably only last a day or two 
but, but the days it does last, it's pretty. The last thing we're gonna use are these little rose mabobbers. This is Fimo canes. You can get your own canes or make them and then slice them, but we're just going to apply a fresh coat of paint on this nail. Get in there. And take a little bit of our handy dandy water. Water. And pick it up the same way you picked up the um, pearl. And just kind of press it on there. Now, it doesn't always work correctly. As you can see, it's smudged a little bit of the nail polish. You kind of have to develop a technique for this. Yeah, we haven't yet, so... Because it's, it's kind of tricky. And because they're flat and your nail is curved. Yeah. So, yeah. This is definitely something harder to work with. And you might want to, like, research or look up other YouTube videos on how to do it. So, yeah, that one's a little harder to use. So, out of all of the products, my favorite is the flower, actually. I have heard on this one site that if you take tweezers and you pick up the flower and just blow dry it for like a second and then press it on your nail, it'll form onto the shape of your nail and then you clear coat off after it. So you guys could, you know, just use that because you guys should have a hair dryer. So we're going to leave this video at that. So bye. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.